What is going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for tuning into today's new video. It's going to be an exciting one and I know some of you out there have kind of been looking forward to this. Uh, today what we're actually going to do is we're going to go over the Asus ROG Strix XG27UQR, uh, the overdrive settings that I use and display settings that I use in game for my liking. Now this might not be what you like, but this is what I think looks really good. And uh, I've just been having so much fun with this monitor. We'll also go over kind of my thoughts with gaming on it. Since, uh, you know, since the unboxing video, we didn't really do, we did a little bit of gaming, uh, but today we will turn the monitor back on. I'll show you my settings. I'll give you guys my thoughts on what I think about this monitor. And uh, I tell you guys what, man, this has really just been an awesome monitor. And I know some people in the last video were like, dude, like, you know, you said this thing was amazing so many times. And it's like, I tell you what, it really takes a lot to impress me with monitors. I've had a lot of monitors in the past that just, you know, they were TN panels, they had really bad colors. And this monitor, the XG27 UQR, just pretty much marks every checkbox. You know, it's really tough for people out there to find a monitor that they really like and that checks all the boxes. Um, usually you have to, you know, forfeit something in the monitor, like, you know, either colors or performance, you know, you never can just find the perfect monitor. And man, on this one, it has just been incredible. So guys, without further ado, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button if you enjoy it. Let's jump into the video. All right, everyone, let's jump into it. Don't mind all this stuff. I don't really have a lot of space for it right now. Um, this is my new build, 3080 Ti. Uh, this is the brand new Noctua NH uh, U12A, um, which is black. Got the 980 Pro M.2. Uh, I'm just waiting for the 12900K to come. So right now we have this hooked up to the Xbox X. This is what this is hooked up to. Obviously, I'm a big PC guy. You guys should just buy a PC, you know, to get that display port and run the 144 hertz. So really quickly... Let's go into, I hope my camera picks up the resolution on this. Let's go into the display settings that I like on this monitor. All you gotta do is hit the back. Uh, there's a little, uh, one of the little nipple buttons back here. That's what they call it, the analog stick. Just hit it in, and then it will come up here to these settings right here, which you got gaming, image. Now, what I like to do is I like to actually come down here, and here's the overdrive settings. Now, one thing that I do is three is supposed to be one of the fastest, but still maintaining good image quality without ghosting. Um, if you go further up, you probably will have a slightly faster um, response, but it's going to probably have a lot of ghosting, and I just did not want to keep it on that. Um, so I kept it down to three, and it looks phenomenal. Now let's go back up to the to the color settings. Uh, hit in on gaming, go to gaming, go down to game visuals, and this is my favorite from what I found. Now, one thing you guys have to understand from the unboxing video is we had this RTS RPG mode on, which is why it looked like there was a lot of backlight bleed um, when I was playing that game. I could tell. I'm like, wow, that's weird. It kind of like, was really, really bright. So I go to scenery mode, which I think really brings out the colors, and then I go back down to here which image i change the brightness and contrast to 95 and 85 that's what i do and it looks guys it looks so crisp clear now let's just jump into i want to show you guys a couple in-game shots of how good this thing actually looks like in-game so crisp clear i love it and see that's kind of the thing is why i was so blown away is because i haven't done a lot of um, I have not done a lot of 4K gaming, and the main difference that you're going to see is the detail just pops out at you that you just can't see on 1440p. Even though 1440p looks really, really good, it does. 1440p Ultra looks incredibly good, but the extra detail on this and the crisp clearness is mind-blowing. Like, it's that good. Um, so I think you guys will probably be impressed with this monitor. I hope you are. I think one thing that they worked on with this monitor is making sure that the colors aren't so contrasty like the other models, uh, that in, in the high saturation, I think that's kind of more of what I meant was the high saturation. A lot of people didn't like that on the monitors, which 
Oh, I love Warzone. It just always does this. It's awesome. Um, but yeah, a lot of people didn't like the really saturated colors. They didn't like that. So I think what Asus did was probably, um, probably tried to work on that. But man, it's it looks gorgeous. One other thing too is we're not even using DisplayPort. So which DisplayPort has the DSC technology? We're not even using DisplayPort, uh, which is just crazy. So we're only running right now at 4K 60 hertz. That's all we're running, and it looks phenomenal, which you really wouldn't think Warzone would look that good. It looked like crap on the TV, but man, I hooked it up to this monitor, turned everything to 4K, and it's gorgeous. Another downside is this monitor does not have speakers, and some people don't like this, but it does have huge bezels. Now, that doesn't bother me at all, I don't care about the big bezels. I, I really could care less. I know some people, they do care about that. But I really don't. Another thing that I would mention too is make sure you guys turn off HDR just because this monitor is only HDR 400. It does not look good with HDR. Also, I've noticed HDR just dims the display, which I do not like that. So if you guys are looking for a more higher end HDR, um, go for the 1000, you know, HDR 1000 or HDR 1400. Um, if that's really something you care about, I think the monitor looks phenomenal without it. So see how the colors just pop out like on the trees, man. I, that's why I really like this setting because it, it looks so realistic. Some people don't really like the oversaturated look, but I, I think that this looks really good, but I know some people probably have a different opinion on that, but it looks realistic to me. Also, one other thing that you guys have to understand is that if there was any type of problem with this monitor, you know, it didn't it didn't look good or the performance wasn't wasn't good on it, it would immediately be going back. One thing that I've noticed is when I turn the 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 overdrive setting to the th to the third one, I noticed that I noticed that the performance is very good on the monitor. I dropped 22 kills in this game mode on Resurgence with the overdrive setting on three. So it's really hard for me to believe that the performance is not good. You know, on the monitor, it definitely is because I have never dropped 22 or 23 kills on this map. So the performance is definitely there with the monitor. It's it's quick. So for example, just to show you guys like how good the lighting is. Here I am, I'm in here. I don't know if my if my camera really picks it up. It looks brighter than what it actually is, which is weird. It must just be my camera. But this looks like phenomenal. The detail on this looks it's like so good, which I can't really explain, I guess. Um, but it looks so good. Oh, I broke his armor. I'm scared, guys. There's only six people left.
Oh! <laughs> oh, darn. I got a second. Somebody asked me a little while ago, do I think it's worth it to buy this monitor? Well, it's going to take a lot of GPU power to push a monitor like this if you're going PC. So if you do have a machine to push this monitor at 120 to 140 FPS ultra settings, or maybe not even ultra settings, you just want to run maybe medium settings at 100 or 120 or 140, you probably have a lot of money into your hardware to where it's like you might as well get what you're paying for and get the best image quality you can get. I mean, you have a lot of money into your machine. But if you're playing console, on the other hand, it's totally up to you guys. Because here's the deal. Some games I've heard are capped at 60 hertz. That's what I've heard. I heard they, I heard they capped, I heard they capped Warzone at like 60 FPS, which means you're not going to be able to get that 120 hertz. If it's capped at 60 FPS, um, you're not going to be able to utilize that 100 or 120 hertz. So I don't know. It's kind of, if I was that person, since I really like resolution, I would personally buy it, but that's, that's me. That's having, I really like high end stuff. And I really like my image quality to look crystal clear. But anyways, that's just what I think. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think. And that's pretty much going to end the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And we'll see you in the next one. Take it easy.